Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, I'm Blind Storm 7 and this is Recluse Craft. Um, so this is episode 6, and um, let's get into it. So, you can see that there's something very different about me. Very different. In fact... Um, you can see it right here. I changed my eye color. Big deal. No, but seriously, I did change my eye color to red. Um, okay, this is getting a bit much. Um, let me change this. Well, I wonder what... ISFOB is. Okay, that is far away. Uh, I mean, I'll just do that for a second while I do the intro. But, um, I was messing around in Hive. Yeah, I can't deal with this. Uh, should be around 60. Um, good enough. Okay, um, so yeah, I was playing in Hive, and, you know, I, uh, was playing Sky Wars, or, uh, Treasure Wars, and all my teammates died, and I didn't want to lose, so I, you know, just built up a huge sky base, and camped there, because I'm a camper. Yep, that's what I am. So... I think that this looks good, but the origin of it is that um, I was just sitting up there while everybody else was not. They were all down there, so um, I was wanting to recreate the do not question the elevated one meme, and um, the glow for the eyes didn't work, but I actually sort of liked it, so I kept it. Um, it's not final, but... Oh, wow. Um. So, yeah, that. I'm just gonna go to bed. And you can see that there's been a lot of uh, explosions around here. Because apparently creepers just will spawn anywhere now. Um. Like, I was just standing here. You got a lantern here, and a lantern here. And one just spawned right here. And so. That's great, but uh, I'm just gonna sleep here, then we can get back up. So, um, yeah, I've had to sort of improvise a little bit, but um, doesn't really matter. But there's an even bigger change, and we're gonna come up here to my barrier. I don't think you guys have actually ever seen this, um, it's again, and partially destroyed the creepers, you can see that over here, uh, and then I've got another one up top, um, but, you can see, stone sword, and iron pickaxe, it's almost broken, I lost all my netherite gear, yep, and you might be wondering, how the heck did you lose your netherite gear? And, uh, the answer is water. So, um, a griefer got onto our realm, hacked, and made water sources into exploding things. I don't know the exact command because I don't know a lot about the command. I'm guessing it was an execute one and I have no idea how that one works, um, but I was just getting some wheat, uh, and some wheat seeds, and I fell in, and I go kablooey, and it had no collateral damage, like no block damage, but it killed me and took all my stuff, so I have to work towards it again, but, um, 
Actually, guys, I'm not going to be. I'm just going to sort of play along a little bit. Um, season 1 is actually ending, and Season 2 is starting up in a couple days. And uh, Season 2 is going to be a lot more enhanced, like better prevention against lag, um, custom, uh, not custom heads, but mob heads, like uh, sheep heads, cow heads, chicken heads, and uh, something like armor stands. I don't think it's like uh, the one you see on Hermitcraft, but it's at least something. Um, but I think that just the next death I have, um, I think that's going to be it for me for season one. And, um, there's a lot that I haven't finished, but to be honest, um, I sort of lost motivation for this. Um, it's sad, but, um, I mean, I was going to make a large tower out of this, um, well, not a super large tower, just a couple more stories up, then, uh, detail it, um, uh, so, then expand the farms all the way across, um, but sadly I won't be getting around to that, um, and, uh, I just hope you guys have enjoyed Season 1, um, and I've, like, this was my first truly survival thing, I mean, I played on survival before, but, uh, when I had, it was just, oh, this is my first survival realm, and, um, when I had played on survival before, uh, I just rage quit after, um, I got lost, or all my items were far away, um, and then I just TP, um, back to somewhere and enable cheats and then give up but this was my first actual survival experience um i grew up playing creative i've been playing since 2013 and i think that this was some of the most fun i've ever had on minecraft um and i've made a lot of great friends but um it's going to be even better for season two um so, let's just get on with the episode. I don't have anything major planned. Uh, I mean, I die a lot, so this is just going to be my farewell episode, I'm guessing. But, uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Season 2, I mean, Season 1, and I really do hope you will enjoy Season 2 as well. I think that um, I'll be getting more into automated farming like my plans for next season is uh, I, I won't give it fully away but um, sort of I mean I was using this to help me gain money uh, to help me gain diamonds uh, but it also does look kind of good but um, any crops that I grow at my actual base will be purely aesthetic um, they won't be, like, they won't be farmed. I'll have an automatic farm for that. Oh, not fully automatic, but, um, if you guys have seen the crop farm that Will's Knight has under his face in Season 7 of Hermitcraft, that's what I'm looking to do. Um, but that's one of the changes I'll be making, and I'm just gonna be going more towards automatic farming. Like, I only had the chicken farm. Uh, and chicken farms were actually banned from the realm because they cause way too much lag and that's completely understandable. Um, they do cause a lot of lag because there's so many entities crammed in one area. Um, but I'm going to try and have an industrial district and yeah. But before we actually get on with the episode um i just want to show you something in the nether well i mean it's in the overworld but i have to get to it from the nether um, so we only announced that we we're going to be having a season two a couple days ago and um uh, it basically won with a uh, with an almost unanimous vote, it wasn't 
100%, but the majority of us agreed. Um, and we're working on getting a world download ready so that uh, you guys could come and play after we're done. I mean, we don't have the biggest fan base, but for those of you who are watching and who are playing on Bedrock, if you want to uh, come play, you can. So, where I was going with that is that this was maybe about two weeks ago, maybe a week and a half. I had the idea of creating a mini game district, and um, because we've had the UHC and the Hunger Games, but those didn't work too well, and the portal's broken. Somebody died here, I guess. Um, I don't know what happened here. Well, except that somebody died. Um, okay. Well, that just sort of... I'm just gonna mine a couple more of these, um, while I'm gonna head over here and mine it, because we need, um, and I could go, right, so, yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab some of these, um, well, um, I don't have anything with me. I'll come back to this later in the episode, um, I just kind of want to get on with, with the episode before actually doing anything, I don't know who this elytra and the leggings belong to, but, um, I'll see if there's anybody who claims it, um, I mean, I don't know, um, I don't want to use it because Somebody could be coming onto the realm. I, I don't think they just leave their stuff there, but I want to be safe with it. Um, but I'll just keep it safe, and if anybody asks about it, I'll um, give it to them. So, um, yeah, I do want to show you guys just a little bit of stuff around the base, um, and it's. Today is not going to be a productive day, it's just going to be touring around a little bit. I'm just going to put that in there. Um, so, this was an unfinished project. I was going to create a zero tick um, bamboo farm and have it hook into a super smelter, but I never got around to it. Um, and I actually really regret that. I think it could have saved me a lot of time and made me get more videos out but that is going to be one of the first things i do uh, next season when i can get the resources for it um then we've got the rail of course just some pillager banners um and back a while back off camera um you've probably seen this if uh, when i've been around this way um this is just a treasure map uh, that i found and there was the um, buried treasure, and I actually still have the Heart of the Sea here, um, that was, I, I'm not even sure if I was, um, actually, well, episode zero was the introduction video, episode one, I, I'm not sure, I mean, I'll go back and check, but I don't, I don't know if I even had that then, um, or, I think I, had it even before then, maybe, I'm not totally sure, but we got the, uh, coal storage, uh, glass, um, tools, redstone, food, um, valuables, random stuff, uh, and just, like, stock for the shop, just some random stuff in there that I've dumped, it's in there, uh, I do have, 
um, three IOUs, um, but they're kind of so it's now some packed ice from when I redid the nether tunnel over this way. Some scaffolding, all my plants and stuff. And then all my mob drops, concrete, um, sand and gravel, dirt, uh, my stones, and then my wood. Then I have just a cauldron here. Uh, I made some potions um, a little while back. Um, then the two chicken cookers that I've disabled recently. Uh, oh. And then that was just when I was going to be paying somebody for a job they were going to be doing in here. And you know, uh, this was so what I did originally to get down here because this was my strip mine. But I just walk all the way down, and that um, made me lose a lot of hunger or food bars. Uh, so then I made this, and uh, it wasn't as fast as the railway, but you can see I've got my strip mines, but then I just started mass mining, like not auto mining, because I didn't have a beacon, but um, just some stuff down here. And then here we got it down to bedrock, and there's a creeper down there. So I'm gonna get that. But, um,. And this was going to be where I had villagers, um, my enchanting table that I actually never used once. And then uh, this was my sort of secret um, shulker box storage. I, I still have enchanted books and oh, I guess I have this. Might as well put on honorary boots. Um, We'll name them. Goodbye, season one. Ooh, what kind of snazzy? No, but um, I'm gonna grab the flint and steel and um, go light up the mini game portal. Um, oh. We do have this little nether warp farm. Um, then up here we have the um, uh, the berries, two levels of berries. Uh, again, never got it around that zombie. Well, I'm going to go down, back down, and sleep. So, there really hasn't been anyone on too recently, um, but, and, which is understandable because people don't want to work on something that's just gonna stop in a couple days. But, you know, we've got, um, the starts of the fields and even this could get me six seven stacks of potatoes um per harvest and i was going to expand it all the way oh, this one i was going to split it between wheat and carrots but um have the potatoes go all the way across the back and that would be sort of symmetrical um then you know we got the main base um and yeah that's really it but um and before we do go to the minigame district, I do want to show you some stuff in... Oh, that did a 360. Um, I do want to show you some stuff in the shopping district. So, I'm going to cut, and then um, I'll... Wait, when we get there, I'll start it again. Okay, everybody, I am now in the shopping district, and as you can see, it's taken a beating. 
but you can see over here we have um, this shop, my shop, last 27 month goods, but um, I really actually only got any sales in here and I started to take it down um, to help me with resources for my mini game that I was creating. But this is just a tower, I don't know what it does, I don't think it actually sold anything. This was a Storage Wars game that we played. Um, this was the beacon that's been stolen from time and time again. Of course you got the nether portal. Um, no idea what this is. Oh, this is Dig Straight Now. Um, that's kind of new. Then. This is just a plot, I guess. Um, another plot. Uh, then this is ASDA, which um, I was talking with one of the people that owned it and said that it was just kind of aesthetic at the point because, um, you know, that partner wouldn't do anything. But then if you go over here, you got the gold farm, which has been broken. Um, then you got storage down here, I don't know really what it was. Um, excuse me for one moment, I gotta cut out and, uh, deal with something really quick in real life. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, it was just my one of my cats batting around a cup and it's making a lot of noise, so I um, wanted to um, stop it. So, this is a Enterprises. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have seen this. If you watched my fourth episode, you have, um, but you know. Uh, I was part of this along with um, Alpha, Orca, and just some other people. This is my office. Apparently, there's a piston there um, and a spider. But yeah, so Diamond Throne, sort of. Then um, got this was. Um, H's office, uh, I don't, I need to be careful, okay, and there's magma, great, um, yeah, so, I know what that does, I don't want that to happen to me, um, so yeah, this is just his office, um, I'm not gonna go into the vault, because, um, I don't really think he wants people in there, but I was just going to show this office. Now this. This. Yes. Okay, and apparently it is... Yeah, I... Okay. Then you got messy thing here. The door never worked. Might have worked once or twice, but other than that, it didn't. And um, around here, uh, you got lounge, I guess. Um, I don't know what this is. There's stuff even in here that I haven't seen. Um, so um, that's Alpha's office. Um, it says request entry. Um, yeah, if I, I'll see if I can get it up in there, but I won't for now. Um, and I think this is probably Harrison's office. Um, then this is Jogging Jokers. Then Orca. Um, Apparently that is Kevin, and also Jeb. Um, so yeah, and 
so yeah that's basically it um for a just gonna, I don't care um then you've got a, a redstone shop um opened originally by the villa Tara, but he doesn't play with us anymore um then um I don't know if this does. Uh, looks like the start of the shop, but nothing really. Um, it's got some nice stuff there, though, like some nice terrain. And then this is the bone shop, um, a rib cage skull shop. I don't know. Who owns it? Uh, and while there's been a lot of explosions, but this is the skeleton shop, um, and it was owned by Proct War. Um, then this is uh, Super Taekwon Kids, um, uh, like Nether shop, I guess. Like, got, like just stuff you get from bartering, basically. Um, then blank spot. Uh, this was a shop I don't remember who owned it, but it was here in the early days. Along with this, um, now this—I don't know what this is. I don't think this is a shop, so I'm just gonna let it be. Um, but this here is Alpha's um, like furnace. Thing and that stuff, um, but and this is a place where you can get glass. Um, this was Pop Ninja's plot, but somebody took it over. Not very nice of them, but it's like a big Mario uh, plant thing. And this is like uh, concrete wool and dye, um, and the Guardian Farm, which is basically. Um, replica of um, impulses on the hermitcraft server and uh, this was emeralds and totems um, and then um, this was alpha's in shop um, and cold shop uh, like TNT and rocket shop um, I think this was going to be a potion shop but it never actually turned into fruition um i can't remember who made this oh yep fit parsley um and that's where i got the diamond pick that i eventually turned into another item from um but then beacon yeah um, and then you've got the Beacon Shop, um, you've got the Witch, that will come in handy, and you've got a, um, like, an underwater shop, you know, um, and then, Fish bowl shop where you can get fish. I'm not going to go in there because it's flooded. And this was the task force made by uh, X Men. Okay, Mr. Creeper, uh, I do not give you consent to blow me up. Wow, okay, I. Okay, um... Okay, um... 
now that that's taken care of, um, this was Harrison's tower. I don't really know what it was original, what it was supposed to be. I don't know if it was going to be a shop or something, but it's absolutely massive. Props to him on it. Um, and I fall into a hole. But then this is going to be the arena for a mini game. Um, this was like a randomizer thing. Um, I don't really know what it was. Um, honey shop. This shop that I don't even know what it does. Um, so it says 64 diamonds for a fortune 3 pick. Which um, I was able to get a fortune 3 on breaking 3 big for five diamonds so I mean yeah but then we've got a lot of plots over here um up over here is the um tree shop um Then, um, if we come up here, this is this was going to be their, well, I mean, I guess, is the recluse town hall. Um, and apparently, there's a gas. Um, I don't know if that's my imagination, but I hear a gas. Um, and then, up here there's, um, Alpha's stone turned iron shop, um, then ice shop, um, a shop where you could buy mobs, slime shop, and honey shop too, I think, uh, food shop, redstone shop um, and then if that's the rear shopping district portal and then that over there is um, exponent clause um, castle so that's the tour of the mini game district not the mini game district the shopping district um it's going to be sad to see this go but um it's been a lot of work keeping up with it um because there's just been so much destruction of it that, um, yeah. oh, there is one more thing over here that I need to show you, and it's that, um, so, this was, uh, and this apparently too, I don't know, this was, um, it has nothing in it, okay. but this was, um, made by, um, J-Jump while she was still on here and you could get Moxie Cobblestone and then this uh, three stacks um, for a diamond of anything there um, so yeah that's it for this and if you're wondering what that is that's just a sign up board for a mini, mini game Okay, great. So I remember I said that it was probably going to be the last, the next death that I had. It was probably going to be the last of it, but um, I, don't know, like, I still want to show you guys some stuff. But after that, I'll probably do that. So yeah, we're gonna head this way. Just 
talk about goodbye season one on us. Do I have? Yeah, I do have to do that. Just in case I need to mine some more blocks to get over here. Um, So yeah, this I just came up with this about a week and a half before we announced that um, it was going to be that we we're going to be doing season two. I had no way of knowing, but you know it was still fun to work on it while it could. So uh, apparently there's another portal there. Uh, this was um, I made I I started up the mini game district. Um, and so I made this. Uh, the premise was that you'd get a 32 by 32 plot free. Then you'd have to pay one diamond block for each 16 by 16 plot. Um, then you could get a little area over here where you could sign up for an event. It wouldn't cost anything. This right here is my mini game. Um, this would down here, mob farm. Um, but uh, it's. I'll explain it a little bit later, and it's something I'm actually probably going to bring uh, back for Season 2, well, bring to Season 2 with me, uh, the idea of it, so I won't spoil really that much, but it was called Mount Mounts, and uh, it was going to be a tower of just different things that you could do with, like, horses and pigs and striders, just all that. Um, and so I'd keep all my stuff and do the breeding down there because um, I'd have to keep horses. But then this was a scavenger hunt um, the Exponent Claw set up. Um, so, uh, yeah. I got up to there, but then I just got blown out of the water. Um, but, you know. Um, that's really all it amounted to. Uh, there wasn't much time for it to amount to anything. I don't know, guys. I'm trying my best not to get a little bit emotional um, on camera or on recording. But, you know, it's just, again, like I said earlier, it's first time being on a realm playing with other people. Um, and especially during the quarantine, um, it's given me something to do. And, um, I just want to thank you all, um, viewer or, um, member of the realm. And, um, I think I'm going to do this here. Um, Goodbye, season one. Today. Kind man.
with a member of that team in class 27. He was one of our own. He will not be forgotten. And I will see him again. So. Goodbye, my friend.